Hello fellows, welcome back to the Respawn Network with another Tiger Tactics with Tigers RC. This time we'll be playing some Gold Rush and talking about Rain. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Gold Rush Lobby. There are four parts to this lobby, but really the arenas is the only one that we use. So it's where we get to join a game. So I think that Alpha 1 looks fine. Yep, Alpha 1, we're in. This is the map. The object of the game is that you want to get a bunch of gold from that center spawner where zombie pigmen spawn in, and you want to put it in your dropper. You can go to the outer spawners to get experience that will be used in the shop. For some reason there is a glitch that means that a regular zombie pigment always spawns on the outside. So hopefully I don't get hit by any of these guys. But yeah, you can see I've got two gold already. And it looks like there are invisible people. Although, I don't mind. If you pick up any armor, you can go ahead and use it, but yeah. So, this is Gold Rush. Typically, I play completely aggro. I don't go for the experience a whole ton. Looks like somebody just killed me. But what I do do is I get just enough so that every time I die I can get the speed, speed enchant. Because what that does is that if you strafe, you can become virtually unkillable. Also, you can catch up to people like this guy and kill him in his base. Also, get out of the base if you really want to, but yeah. So... This guy is just being annoying. Whatever. Alright, so yeah, that's Gold Rush. I think I'm going to go over to this side a little bit, get some experience real quick, and then go back to the middle. There is a minor glitch right here in the map in that you can jump right over that and get right to the gold and kill this guy. It looks like there's some lag. Although we now have nine nuggets and if we can craft it quick enough and right click the dropper our team score went up by one you saw that on the right you see I'm strafing they can't hit me because I'm going so fast and the, the lag is bad enough that yeah that's what I mean So, hopefully, they'll take care of this guy for me. Hey, ingot. That's nice. If ever you get an ingot, it's a rare drop, you can just go ahead and bring it back. Okay, so this game is going decently well. So, I'm going to just say that where I live, we have gotten an absurd amount of rain. So, in our basement, we got a little bit of water. Wasn't bad. The um, the all our entertainment stuff was fine, and because that's where we have our widescreen TV and stuff like that. But um, the only real problem was that it took up a lot of my time, and I didn't know it was going to happen at the beginning of the week, but at the end of the week. It was very, very annoying because, yeah, um, this was my debut, pretty much, first week on 
YouTube and most of my time was taken up by the fact that I had to clean out our basement. Not good. But yeah, you can see now I'm strafing like ridiculous. And they're all... Yeah, oftentimes with Gold Rush it really depends on what team you get, whether you win or not. So, but, um, so I was hard pressed for time. Luckily, I was able to record everything, get it out, and so it's all out on time and well made and all of that. So that made me happy that I could do that. Um, yeah, I've, I've still got a lot of stuff that's getting in the way of recording. So I'm recording between um, family gatherings and work and all that stuff. I, I'm going to set an alarm clock. And, yeah. guy's got a gold. You know what? Yep, that was a good game. That team was being actually very derpy and dying a lot. They don't have any good, really good players, so feel kind of sorry for them. But on the upside, life has been good because I got a new headset as an early birthday present very recently it's a Logitech G930 gaming headset and it is awesome just plain awesome um, I yeah I have a very very loud computer at least a very very loud fan and so when I recorded with the studio microphone that I was using um, it didn't really work out that well because the studio microphone would hear my fan and so the entire um, recording would have this annoying buzzing sound behind it it was really annoying so yeah if you didn't know if you tap both right and left click you can block while attacking which means that you can deal a lot of damage without being dealt a lot of damage. It's very nice. So, yeah. Um, so this this recording headset is awesome. I am really really enjoying it. I love playing with it. I love. Yeah. It looks like we're not having many good competitors. So I think I'm gonna troll this game. We're ahead by a lot. And so I am going to I'm going to see what happens if I can get all of the upgrades. If I can just sit around here and build up upgrades until I've got everything. Because that would be cool. So um yeah. This game it requires skill, especially if there's more than two players. So, yeah, we're going to win now because playing with 2v1 is not good. I'm going to see what happens if I give this guy all my gold. Okay, that was weird. That guy is displaced. He's actually down here, but he looks like he's way up there. That's actually kind of funny. Alright, now it's a 2v2. Now it's going to get a little bit more interesting, I think. Alright, it looks like this guy is trying 
to craft, which he managed to do, but I don't think it'll matter too much. I am going to get a lot more here. And hopefully, do pretty well. All right. So, the point of this game is you get some people who are um, tanks and who spend all of their time at the experience spawner, and they become the late game characters and have. Um, all sorts of stuff and stay alive forever are impossible to kill because they've got solid iron armor and yeah you've got people like that and then you've got people who are early game characters and they come to the gold spawner right away get enough gold to get your team going and then um, you have all that you need for the entire game I myself am an early game character in that I like to get speed and only speed. I don't like to build up any of my resources. After somebody has been there, then you'll get extra experience quicker. And it looks like this guy's trying to run away. Sorry, fella. Won't work. See, one of the things that I find annoying about this game is the fact that it starts as soon as um, two people are in. So typically, by the time that it gets to the point that there are a lot of people, like now, there are five, we win. If you've got good people to start out against, then the game can go for a while, or if both of the people are really, really bad, then the game can go for a while. But with only two, it only lasts for a little bit, meaning it's a rather short, fast-paced game. I find that annoying because if it's a bigger game, it can get to be extremely interesting because typically you get killed every single time before you can put gold in, so the game lasts for quite a while. Um, I think that we should try it once more, and this time go as fast as we possibly can. Right into a game that's already in-game, if there is one in-game, in-game, there is none in-game. Oh, this one's in-game. Here we go. Alright, here we are. Oh, this is a very interesting map. It's got clear line of sight all along here. Looks like it's a bigger game, and yet yeah, nobody's really ahead. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. I'm going to walk in their base and say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh. All right. Thank you, fellows, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been a lot of fun. Um, from now on, you can expect weekly videos of all of my series. Um, so, yeah. Until next time, fellows. So long.